That's right. I'm going to do that. Actually, the atmosphere is going to do that to you, Joel, in the coming days. Uh, not so much tomorrow. It's still going to be fairly mild. Uh, today was just gorgeous. 72 degrees. That's 21 or 20 above average. Uh, tomorrow, still in the 60s. Showers in the morning. Should be wet for you into work or school, but dry on the way home. And then cooler, much cooler, Friday into Saturday. Temperatures running just a little bit below average. Not by a lot, but still uh, upper 40s for high. But there's going to be a lot of sunshine with that, so it really shouldn't feel all that bad. It won't feel as good as this, though. That's 71 at North Hills with our first alert weather station. Sunny, breezy today. Uh, temperatures uh, just gorgeous uh, across the region with uh, readings mostly in the 70s across the area. There's a cold front on the way. Narrow band of showers here back through Kentucky into Middle Tennessee making its way eastward. That's going to get here during the morning hours tomorrow and uh, many of us will have a little bit of a wet ride. Nothing real heavy, though. Know, a wet ride in the morning for school. Low and mid-50s for low tonight. We were in the mid-upper 30s last night. Now, frosty in many areas but uh, much milder tonight with that southwest wind kicking up. Dry this evening, but heading out to work or school, out to walk the dog in the morning. Showers around early on, mid-morning gone. Temperatures in the mid-50s get to about 60 by noon, and then into the low and mid-60s later in the afternoon. Let's time it out. Here's your first alert predictor. After midnight, all dry, but then as we get towards 5 or 6 a.m., See these showers rolling into the triangle just in time for the morning commute. 8 o'clock, scattered showers. Some will have some moderate rain briefly, but overall it's not going to last long. Notice by 9, 10, it's gone. And rapid clearing, once the rain ends, within one or two hours, the sun should be out. The last, of course, in the coastal plain along and east of 95. But even there, during the afternoon, the sun will be out. Temperatures will get into the low and mid-60s, then fall a bit, and the winds will start to kick up. going to see northwest winds and west winds tomorrow. 15 to 20 with some gusts of 30 in the afternoon. Some snow showers in the mountains too. Could accumulate a little bit in the uh, northern mountains tomorrow night. Friday, a gorgeous day, but much, much cooler. Temperatures only upper 40s to around 50 degrees. And need those heavy jackets during the morning hours. But tomorrow, low and mid 60s, midday, early afternoon, then falling a bit into the afternoon around the triangle. Upper 60s around Fayetteville. And then upper 50s to low 60s to the north to low 60s around Wilson for your afternoon highs. Again, mainly later in the morning, early afternoon, then falling into the late afternoon. Your first tomorrow night, weather seven days. Still brisk tomorrow night, 34. Upper 40s Friday. Same for Saturday. Mostly sunny on Sunday, near 50 degrees. The disturbance will come through Sunday night into Monday. That may trigger a sprinkle or snow flurry, but don't get excited. I don't think it's going to be anything at all. 44 then, back to sunshine Monday. And then uh, slowly, slowly warming next week back in the 50s. But cold nights and cool days coming up. 29, you just brushed over that possible little flurry. Well, remember, just two weeks ago, it was not, oh yeah, well, it's because that's not going to amount yet. If it happens at all, it'll be like okay. zero impact. At this point, it doesn't look You're professionally obligated to say snow flurry, but it's just, just a flurry. Oh, that's why they call it a flurry. Right? Just it's just it. Because it's just like right around, it doesn't do anything. And out of here. And out, so, yeah, right. Thanks, sure. So heavy. Actually, no, this is, this is, this is good to start. Let's, let's, like this let's, 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 let's give this a try. There's a new survey that reveals North Carolina's favorite city. Yeah, the test conducted by public policy polling, it's very serious, found Wilmington is the state.